The inaugural State of the Tribal Nations event took place this afternoon and hundreds came out to hear from the Cherokee Nation, Osage Nation and Muscogee Nation. As CJ Macklin reports, a wide variety of topics, topics were touched on, including tribal leadership, economic development, tourism and cultural education. Talking primarily about the uh, Muscogee Creek uh, and the Cherokee and the Osage because all three of our traditional homelands uh, come together here in Tulsa. I think it's important that uh, this not just be the inaugural event, but that it be, I think, the start of uh, many of these events across the state. According to the tribes, this year's State of the Tribal Nations was a success. The Tulsa Regional Chamber of Commerce presented several panel discussions for over 800 people to hear today. Cherokee Nation's Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. spoke about economic development. In the past five decades, we've gone from the United States taking its boot off the neck of the Cherokee Nation to leading this state in the economy, in health care, in solving problems for communities. Osage Nation Principal Chief Jeffrey Standing Bear was on that same panel, and he spoke on an economic development project called Skyway 36, a project that he wants to include drones. Drone technology for peace purposes and, and war even um, are um, big and uh, we don't want to contribute to anybody's uh, harm but uh, you have to pay attention to the world and it's really uh, the future. Mayor Bynum was also in attendance but Governor Stitt was not and when asked about his relationship with the governor. Well, I do not talk to Governor Stitt um, not because I dislike him or he dislikes me, it's just we just have nothing in common right now. And that was C.J. Macklin reporting. Jeffrey Standing Bear added that Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell played a really big role to help bring the killers of the Flower Moon movie to our state. From the 